Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you again, uh, kind of late this morning for the next Marathon Studio album reviews I'm going to be doing for Nirvana's discography. And this is for their debut studio album I'm returning to you for, for the album Bleach that I just got done listening to. It is the 1989 album, so... Yeah, I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this whole album and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now, there actually is two extra tracks with this album, uh, but they came out on the remastered version, I think, the later version. Um, they're called Big Cheese and Downer, and I gotta say, I really liked them. Uh, they were really great songs to close out the album. Uh, Sifting is technically the original song that should close out the album, but it was pretty good. My mustache, not my mustache, uh, Mr. Mustache. <laughs> I said it wrong. I am really sorry. I was referring to my mustache and I was like, ah, crap, I screwed this up. <laughs> Hopefully you can forgive me on that. Uh, Blue was a really good one. So was Mr. Mustache. Uh, Mr. Mustache instrumentally was good, but the way Kurt was singing it, I don't know how I feel about that. I may Kurt Cobain rest in peace because I know uh, it's got to be hard for some Nirvana fans when they're like, oh, uh, they were good until this thing happened in 94. I think back in March or April of 94. Maybe February, I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, it, it came out of the blue, and I was just surprised. Uh, I wasn't born then, I was born in 95, but, uh, that's all I can say. Uh, yeah, I was born a year after that, but I just wanted to come at you for this Nirvana uh, marathon studio album review to see how it performs. Uh, Love Buzz was a shocking blue cover, uh, from I guess a band called Shocking Blue. I don't know if they're a band or not. Uh, I'd have to look into them, but uh, yeah, it was a really good cover. Uh, they covered that song Love Buzz, and it was really good. School was a little weird. And the other two songs that were my least favorites were Paper Cuts and Negative Creep. And Mr. Mustache, of course, was the next least favorite. But everything else was awesome. Uh, it's a little hard to understand what Kurt is singing at times. But, yeah, I still uh, enjoyed um, the majority of this album. It was really good. Blue is the opening track. And it is a banger, for sure. It's pretty short, but it is a banger. Floyd the Barber. Yeah, I think he mentioned the lyric Floyd in it, Kurt did. And it got a little weird, but <laughs> the drum and guitar work in it is great. About a Girl is another song that I really came to enjoy. School was really good. Um, I guess Scoff is what it's called, uh, and Swap Meat, uh, which it sounds like M-E-A-T, but it's M-E-E-T is what they titled it. Uh, they were pretty good songs. Uh, and just, I think the least favorites, the way Paper Cuts was going about it, and how Kurt was singing it, it just sounded weird. And I don't know if I liked that kind of sound that he was singing. Uh, the way he was singing it. It just sounded a little cringy at times. But that's just my opinion. You are not, you don't have to agree with me on it. It's just how I felt when I was hearing that song and the other two that were my least favorites. Um, which the other two are Negative Creep and Mr. Mustache. 
Um, yeah, just production-wise for this album, it's really well done. And it is their debut studio album. And I actually am going to review the no sophomore album, uh, Nevermind, tomorrow. So definitely tune in for that. Uh, just the way Kurt was singing the majority of these songs, it almost sounds hard to hear what he's singing at times because he kind of has that mumble uh, voice, but he makes up really weird lyrics and really odd lyrics too. But it it actually works. He wanted to make songs that were catchy or whatever and enjoyable for listeners, so that's actually pretty cool and creative. Overall, I think Nirvana's album, Bleach, was a pretty awesome album. I really liked it. Uh, it was good. I wouldn't call it great, but there's a few songs on it that I wasn't sure about liking. But maybe in time it'll grow on me. It's just I'm getting used to his voice a bit. Which I've been hearing smells like Teen Spirit and Come As You Are a lot. I think I heard Lithium before. But I can't remember if I have or not. And Heart Shaped Box is a popular one too. Uh, so I'll have to check out these other songs when I listen to the albums in full. Because there's only two more albums I'm going to be reviewing because he didn't make any more. He made EPs. The band made EPs, meaning extended plays. But yeah, they just only made three albums. So that's all I'm going to be reviewing. But first score, I think I'm going to give Nirvana's Bleach album a 8.5 out of 10. It's pretty awesome. I really like it. Um, I definitely see myself returning to this, probably even purchasing it in time. Uh, this is a late 80s album. It came out before 1990. So it is pretty enjoyable. So you're not going to be disappointed with this album. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Nirvana album Bleach, if you've heard it. And if you like this album review I made for you guys uh, late this morning... Uh, this Marathon Studio album for the first Marathon Studio album of Nirvana's discography. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. I will be returning to you. I think I'm going to be writing a new song this week sometime. I'm really trying to get as much songs done as I can. Because I only have seven more songs to write for the Social Animals album that I'm releasing on YouTube uh, mid this year. Uh, it's going to come out probably June or July at the latest. If it comes out early, I'll let you know. But for right now, if I get done with it sooner, I'll release it sooner and say, okay, here it is. I decided to get done with it. The last song is going to be done on a Friday, so I'm going to release it on a Friday, and that'll be it. Uh, but for the last YouTube song that I'm going to make, it'll be released on a Friday. Uh, I just want to let you know that. But I will return to you tomorrow as well for the Nirvana Nevermind album, which is the one with the baby swimming in the water. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a pretty cool album picture, to be honest. Uh, this album was really good, so I really enjoyed this Nirvana debut studio album. So, I definitely see myself purchasing it. I'm probably going to even buy the t-shirt, too. Because uh, I really like this band. Uh... But it's a shame that they didn't keep going because of his death and all that. And yeah. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this album review I made for you guys for Nirvana's Bleach album. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Definitely stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you in my next video.